Hey, what is up? It's Gab, and you are now watching Galani Gab. So in today's video, we are going to review this Viltrox EF to EFM camera adapter or lens adapter. And in the next video, we are going to compare it to this Viltrox Speed Booster EF to EFM. But ngayon, i-unbox muna natin itong Viltrox EF to EFM adapter for my Canon M50. So right here, meron pa siyang Viltrox sticker. So in the box, we have the user manual as well as the warranty card and right away nandito na yung Viltrox EF to EFM adapter for your Canon M series. Okay, so may silica gel pa siya sa loob. By the way, yung mga ganitong silica gel, pwede nyo ilagay sa lens bag nyo para makip yung freshness or para hindi magkafungus yung inyong camera. So, minsan kinikip ko ito, tapos nilalagay ko sa aking lens bag. Ito na mismo yung lens adapter nyo. This is the EF to EFM camera adapter. So, kwento ko muna kung bakit kailangan ng mga cameras ng camera adapter. So, the reason why our cameras have camera adapters kasi iba-iba yung brand or iba-iba yung mounting system ng bawat lenses para sa ating cameras. Right here is 17 to 40 EF mount. Ang EF lenses ay para sa mga full-frame Canon cameras. Ang EFS ay para naman sa Canon crop-frame cameras. So, yung mga EF lenses, pwedeng pumunta sa EFS cameras. Meaning, pwede siya ikabit sa crop frame cameras. Medyo confusing, no? Pero it will all make sense later. Pero ngayon, meron tayong Canon M50 which is the newer lineup ng Canon mirrorless cameras. So, EFM na ang kanilang tawag, hindi na EFS. M stands for mirrorless. So, magkaiba yung mounting nila. And hindi mo makakabit directly to the Canon M50 itong EF 17 to 40 na lens kasi magkaiba yung size ng kanilang lens mount. Pwede ito sa full frame cameras, pero kung gusto ko ikabit ito sa aking Canon M50, I would be needing this adapter. Now, in the next episode, pag-uusapan naman natin itong speed booster ng Viltrox at i-compare natin kung bakit may scenario na kailangan natin speed booster at may scenario na kailangan natin regular adapter lang. But right now, here is the EF to EFM mount adapter para yung EF lens mo pwede mong ikabit directly sa iyong Canon M50. So, ito yung main purpose ng Viltrox EF adapter. Wala siyang glass element sa loob. And relatively on the affordable side siya compared sa regular Canon adapter. I bought this sa Shopee. This is not sponsored by the way. So, ililip ko na lang yung link down below. Same lang sila ng purpose ng Canon adapter. Mayroon din adapter ang Canon. But, ito naman ay Viltrox brand. Pwede mo na magamit ang iyong full frame lenses sa inyong Canon M50. Itong Viltrox adapter ay also has autofocus feature. So may mga electronics part dito para pwede mo magamit pa rin yung autofocus ng inyong EF lenses. May mga adapter kasi na walang electronic parts, meaning pwede ka lang mag manual focus. Pero since maganda yung autofocus ng ating M50, gusto ko ma-maximize yung autofocus feature. So, I bought this Viltrox EF to EFM adapter. For the next video, I will talk about bakit natin binili itong Viltrox adapter compared dito sa Viltrox Speed Booster. For the build quality, this is built with quality plastic. Then, may metal element siya, which is a good thing. Medyo may weight siya. So, you can mount any of your Canon EFS or EF lenses dito directly sa Viltrox EF to EFM adapter without losing the autofocus feature. Another advantage naman dito sa adapter, kaya din wala siyang glass element so it won't lose any sharpness performance sa inyong lenses compared sa speed booster. And since adapter lang siya, pwede mo ikabate yung inyong APS-C lenses directly sa inyong Canon M50 without any performance loss. Take note lang since this is a third-party lens adapter, takalagay din sa user manual that it will affect the autofocus performance of the lens that you are using. Pero pansin ko, okay naman yung autofocus performance niya. Siguro sinasabi lang niya na medyo magiging mabagal compared sa ginagamit mo directly without the adapter dito sa full-frame cameras. So for 1,500 pesos, is this adapter worth it? Let's compare it sa dalawang lenses if 
mas marami kayong EFS lenses na hindi full frame camera lenses. I would recommend you getting this Viltrox EF to EFM adapter para magamit nyo yung inyong EFS lenses dito sa inyong Canon M50 or your Canon mirrorless cameras. Now, kung meron naman kayong EF lenses at lahat ng glasses nyo ay full frame, you can buy this Viltrox Speed Booster instead of this Canon adapter since hindi mo na kailangan yung extra crop ng inyong crop frame cameras. For the price, I would highly recommend you get this one first kung lahat ng lenses nyo ay EFS lenses at testing nyo muna kung magugustuhan nyo yung performance ng inyong lens sa inyong mirrorless Canon cameras. Then kapag may bala kayong mag-upgrade sa full frame lens, I would highly recommend you get the Viltrox Speed Booster para ma-maximize nyo naman yung capabilities ng full frame lenses. But right now, this tiny adapter makes me utilize all of my EFS lenses. By the way, this is Lend to me by Kevin. Kev, shoutout sa'yo. Sana gumaling ka na agad at maraming salamat sa tiwala mo at pinairam mo itong Sigma 17 to 50 para sa akin. So, thank you so much, Kev, and see you soon. Yun, take note lang lahat ng inyong lenses na EFS. 17 to 50, you would be needing two times 1.6 since crop frame cameras ang gamit natin. So, yung 17 nyo is around 28 millimeter to 70-ish something. Basta yung 17 na focal length nyo, itatypes nyo sa 1.6 para makuha nyo yung true focal length na inyong crop frame sensor cameras. Medyo madami to take in, pero ito yung aking reviews and tips para dito sa mga may balak bumili ng Viltrox EF to EFM adapter. So, to wrap it up, dito ko na muna tatapusin ang aking video. Kapag bago ka palang dito sa channel, don't forget to leave a subscribe. And again, this is Gab, and you are now watching Galani Gab.